Hi everyone, my name is Nessie. I am a small business owner and I am a fashion accessory designer. Uh, I design jewelry, uh, scarves, uh, belts, and hair pieces for women. Everything handcrafted with love. Of recent, I started sharing videos on how to do, I started teaching what I do. You know, I've been a I've been crafting for, I've been designing for some time, I think like almost like uh, five years and it was self-taught. So now I am trying to teach other people simple ways to make earrings, simple ways to make, simple ways to make hair pieces and you sell. You can do it like a side hustle or you can like start building your own empire. So if it's something that you are kind of like interested don't forget to like subscribe on my uh, youtube channel and follow me on facebook because that's where i really share my videos any other place is just like kind of like a a little bit or a short clip so i really share what i do my tutorials on facebook and on my youtube channel on my youtube channel it is well organized you have where we have jewelry we have where we you have where we have hair pieces and uh, flowers i also do home decorations home decoration is just flowers i craft flowers really big flowers with fabric which you can like use to decorate your home and the thing can stay for like yes with no problem because i have it at home so i try to like separate it on youtube you can like go there and you subscribe so you can like follow um follow my uh should i say my tutorials the teachings yeah you can like go there subscribe and you follow it if you are like kind of new you still go there if you want to focus on jewelry you just go focus on jewelry and you uh click on that section and watch all the, the videos from the beginning i try to explain and if you don't understand anything you can like message me on facebook or you can leave a comment of what you don't understand another thing you can do is if you if you want uh you can go visit my online store and if you want any piece there any piece there that you want me to like uh, uh, uh do it for you do a tutorial you take a screenshot and you can like share on the comment section or you can message me and i will do that all my products for now are handcrafted and I, it's a home business, small home business. I haven't had, say, people helping because when the empire really, when the business grows really big, you can like subcontract people to design pieces and they, they, they craft pieces and you sell. So that's how you grow it. So you go to my online store and anything you see there, please just like take a screenshot and you bring it, we are going to design it. But other than that, for now, I want to talk about this trashy wire. As it's trashy like that, that's how when you're working with it, the thing pip, like you want to like do like a blood test. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna bleed when you're working with this if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. It's like trashy. You can with this trashy wire. This is how it comes. You can do a lot can do a lot you can make earrings you can make bracelet i don't know maybe even more with this trash wire you can do a lot but you have to know how to do it this is how normally this is the one i don't know i think it's the most popular i don't know about other brands but this is the one i get from the store okay i ordered this one online and i ordered i think a dozen because as i always tell you try to order and keep because somebody might want a custom order and you don't need to like order waste time for the customer and everything you just need to have it at home and you create it you know people want their products really fast really really fast so you i order it like they were like 12 so if you see this one is like two inside i still have a lot i order other i think a dozen it's really like really a lot and i still have some at home and 
I would advise you to always do that. Try to order a lot so that when people want custom order, they can like get it. So this is the memory wear. This is how it comes. And if you want like single, this is how it comes. That you can get it from the store. This one I got it from the store, from the craft store. Yeah. So it's good to like buy a lot, keep it because people might want different colors and things like that. For the colors, you can just rush to uh, your local craft store and buy the color and things like that. But at times you go, this one is not there. Yeah, and if you can also buy your beads or your pearls online a lot and you keep it, if you have where you can buy it wholesale, that will be fine. That will really, really be fine. So this is it. And there is a silver color. Okay. This is it. This is a silver color. And the silver color, there is no, I, I didn't get a gold plated color for this one. If you look at this silver color it comes with this size which is like kind of a ring and this one is kind of a bracelet and this one you can use it to make a necklace or you can make those really big earrings all depends on you so for this one i could get just a silver i didn't get a gold plated so this is it and now that you know the wires and you know what to put on the search bar or what to look for when you go to at the store Let's talk about what we can like craft out of that because this week that is what we are going to be working on. And let me say something. What did I want to say? I wanted to say something about the wire. Oh, there is no size, it's just one size for this wire. There is just one size, there's nothing like 20, 26, uh, 23, 18, like the other ones, and they have different sizes they have different models and things like that no this one is just one size it's just one size and it's trashy like that that is it the ones that you find commonly at the stores is this one this bread this uh, size this bracelet size is really common and we are going to design it using our three tools okay you see this earring this hoop earring i have i made it from that it is simple lightweighted and what did i use i use four millimeter beads just put it just like you're stringing jewelry and you have this beautiful piece so i'm gonna do i think i have a tutorials on this already and i've showed you the wire the memory wire so you know and i think i did when i was doing the tutorial this earring i have on is the same like this one see this one i just use the wire and then i use a beautiful bowl and put it if you don't have a bowl that's fine you connect it and if you can get the bowl or any other thing to spice it up you can also put here you can also put uh a pear also to like spice it up but if not that's fine you just get your uh hoop here and then i did other colors you do red you do green so the customer has a variety to choose from so this is it as i always say when if you want to be a good designer you have to like try to dare things you have to like try to like okay this one i've seen pearl a lot of people there is pearl hoop earring is very common try to go out of what is common to be a good designer try to go out don't just sit on one place and you just walk with pearls because you see pearls people put pearls online no maybe people are looking for a hoop a hoop earring that is a different color don't just stick to one one kind of thing let's try things that's why i'm like this channel as we are doing the basic i'm also like trying to like think of how we can like really fly <laughs> say fly yeah so when i go to the craft store i try to like really take my time if you have like several craft stores try to visit all try to see the different bits try to see the different designs and what you can do with it let's try to like do things that are really like kind of different let's not just stick to one thing what we see other people do we stick to it no let's try to be creative as designers okay so earrings you have that and i also made this beautiful piece as you guys can see okay i think i'm gonna try it so that people can see this is it
okay you can make big i'm sorry my turtleneck sweater is like kind of you see you know those of us uh brown skin girls we always like big earrings i just feel we like big earrings because also it's gonna be nice with our afro afro so this is it i tried oh this is a beautiful piece for summer you know summer you know you don't wear things like this you don't wear things like that you mean summer you like kind of feel a little bit at ease so this one this is something that I designed and the base for that was the hoop earring and then I made a lot of beautiful pieces I made this also from that and I made this using seat beads and the base was that so you have to be really creative when you see things like that so I made this one also just from the hoop I made this one from the hoop earring this one seat beads okay. mm -hmm. so as I said, we have to be very creative, really creative. That is like ever since I started like teaching this and my brain is like, I try to like really think. So I want us to like really go above and beyond to like really create like really exotic pieces. This is, this is what I always say and I keep saying it and I've said it just now. When you go out at the craft store try to look for like really those kind of strange kind of beads that nobody 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 wants to buy start thinking of how you can design it that is what is going to set you apart that is what is going to set you apart let's not just create what this guy no and another thing one thing i've noticed there are some women that don't like big earrings you know we brown skin girls we like it because of our big afro and things like that some people just like something simple and i'm trying to incorporate that my i don't have a problem selling just simple one simple earring that is not heavy or it's just simple there are some that they are so beautiful and they are not expensive and i like to give sh free shipping that's my own discount i like my point is how I, how am i going to ship if i sell something like that because there are earrings that you can create that even if you sell for like $7 or $9, you are going to like make a profit. Then when you do free shipping, how will you make up for that? And there are people that will not even think twice, will just come and pick just that one earring and you have to ship. So I'm still thinking of how I'm going to like fix that as a small business. How I'm going to do with shipping because those people that sell very cheap and give free shipping, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it and I feel that they are really big companies but think about some of us we are small businesses and we have to ship how can we sell something for seven dollars and we give free shipping that's difficult and then how even if you discount it how what is the profit there so that is a problem I'm trying to figure that out and I'm thinking of how I'm just gonna make simple earrings not really bogus ones like this this one is very light Please, it is very light. None of them I use more than six millimeters beads. It's either six, four, and then two. Two is gonna be small, really insignificant, but you're gonna have your earring there. So two can be done. So as I said, I'm going to like still figure out how I'll, I will make simple earrings that I can, I can sell for like nine, ten dollars. So I'm thinking of how I'm gonna do with shipping. So I'm gonna do a research on that, then I really start putting simple earrings online okay now we go to the bracelet let me show you bracelet that i designed these are the bracelets that bracelets i designed using yeah so i put these beautiful fringes using chains and i use how they call it i use a lot of memory wires to create this 
a cup bracelet one size fit all you see elderly people like this because they just like and they put it back i mean we want something that you can like do really fast so this is it and it's memory why as i told you this is it you try it you can squeeze it if it's too big for you and it's going to reduce and nothing is going to happen to it it's going to make it smaller you see you squeeze again more so that's how it is it's memory wire so i try to like put a lot and i try to fix the edges and as you see the wires nothing can scratch you i try to like lost everything like try to like make sure it's not hanging out so this is it then this one i designed it and what did i use i use memory wire and i try to like put beads beads and here i've used this flower we're going to make this flower we're going to make ring to go with it and bracelet so this is it Okay. it is light i'm chubby and fluffy i have space but our mannequins this is going to be okay so this is it this is the this one i use seed beads to design this one it takes time but i love it i love the work i did i love, love the apple as well and this one is the same fringes you can order and ask for longer you know some girls are like all of them they are light weighted really light see mm -hmm. as i say i always like something like kind of different and that is how i want you guys to think how can we de design things that are really different so that is what we are going to be working on but other than that we'll make simple ones like a cluster not too big just sell just that so that people can get it and then they go to work and things like that okay this is another one this is kind of a rubber, kind of beautiful one that I got. So this week we are going to be designing a lot of this and do some hair pieces and things like that. And I've got this spike beads, spike, and I use memory wire to put it together. So this way, mm -hmm. that's it. And then we have this one the green this green is almost like the brown the same okay yeah all of them should be this is the white try it with my beautiful These are all seed beads, please. These are all seed beads. Then these beads are different. Kind of glass beads. I design it, then I use wires to like put this and then I glue it. So and that is it. I don't know what you guys think. Oh, you can have this. I like it because it's easy, something that is easy. You can just, you know, put it on, take it out, and things like that. Then, another one that is this one. This one looks so much like the beads. Just so much like, yeah, like the wire, please. See? Just put six beads, as many as you can, and this is what you are going to have yeah so with that one okay let me show you guys mm -hmm. okay so that's it it's memory wire see you don't need to like stress or things like that this is it another one Okay. Let's see. This one I tried to mix colors and it was just small. It's purple. If you have purple out purple dress, then we are here to make this. 
have black, orange color. Uh, I like this, the, the, the fringes. So that is all what I want to say. So this week, that is what we are going to do. We are going to work on, we are going to use memory wire. Then we go back to brighter. And I don't know, I'll try to see if we can do rings. Yeah, if we can do rings. So that is it. This coming week, we'll work on memory wire. I've showed you the memory wire so you can stop by the craft store and get it. So I'll start doing tutorials on that Facebook and YouTube channel, please. Thank you all so much and you have a blessed day.